Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Heidi. How are you? I am almost ready. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. You still got a couple of minutes. Okay, teacher. No problem, no problem. Welcome. Come on. Eliana, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like maybe I'm getting the, I, no, I'm getting the flu or something. Yeah. Oh, that's so uncomfortable, right? That sensation in, in my throat is, so I don't know, it's weird and it's un uncomfortable as the correct expression. But besides that, everything is okay. Today was a very productive day. <clears throat> and, you know, same routine. Um, maybe the only difference was that we had a, a visit from some Mexican colleagues. So, <clears throat> yeah. We were on the main in the main offices with my bus all the morning. Mm, after that, I had lunch, and in the uh, afternoon, uh, I just I just working on some uh, paperwork, uh, checking my emails because I I I didn't see my my emails all the morning, and well. But all cool, great. And I just had dinner a few minutes ago. I just was just eat and then I'm here. Okay, what was there for dinner? Tell me. Mm, a typical dinner, Salvadoran dinner, um, eggs. I don't know how to say casamiento. Beans and rice. Beans. Yeah, beans with rice, uh, cheese. I love 
uh, this cheese um, de tacones. Already. Yeah. <clears throat> and tortilla. And oh, uh, a glass of orgate. A what? Orgate. Orgate. Uh, um, horchata. I think oh, it's orgate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You don't like orgate? No. Oh my God, Hate why? It. So delicious. Hate it. <laughs> oh my God. One more to the list. You don't like pupusas? Yeah. You don't like, um, that's the other thing that you said, that you tell us that you don't like. Um, nice. Yeah, but I can remember we were talking one class about kind of typical food. Mm, ah, that that class that we have to prepare a dish for you, remember? Yeah. But I can remember. It was, was yuca, it I guess. Yuca frit. Yeah, fried yuca. Ah, okay, that. And now, orgate, you don't like orgate. Oh my God. No. Nor, uh, what's the other thing? Tamarindo. Don't like it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's just that the taste is not my thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, it's not. It's not something that I'm like. Oh wow, so good. <laughs> and and that thing, uh, okay, I hate. Totally hate it. I mean, I don't like it at all. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's ah. Is the taste is I don't know. Yeah, you know I'm not that normal. They say. <laughs> but well. Okay, so no, but at night must be coffee. Coffee is mandatory. I drank uh, four, four, no, one, two, two in, in the main offices, and then in the afternoon, one, three cup of coffee today. So, no more. And that's it? Yeah, no, three. no more. <laughs> because of my colon, you know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got the same problem. I also got a gastritis, and let me see. Oh, you don't care. <laughs> Man, no, when it comes about coffee, uh, no really. I mean, oh, today I have had, let's see, one, two, three, four, the one at lunch, five, six, seven, and I'm waiting for another one. Eight cup, cup of coffee, just in one day. Yeah, I don't, oh I don't drink as I used to. I used to drink but, more. Bro. But you drink water, right? Yeah, sure. Tons. A lot balance. of balance. Okay. okay. Then you had a balance. Yeah. yeah. Now you you were you are more coffee than the person. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, but I mean I know I understand that it's not that good. So I need to drink, as I told you, gallons of water. Otherwise I would be in deep trouble. Yeah. Actually, that's my problem with water oh really you you know i don't know i'm weird in with that with that thing with water i don't like um drink water mm, in in glasses i don't know bottles uh -huh. how do I you like drink, drink it? bottles of water <laughs> oh, really yep how oh, come cool. What's the difference? I don't know. Even I, I don't know. I it don't know why. Mean... I I'm just don't like the taste, you know, of the I don't know. It's weird. In in, yeah. in this thing with water, I'm very weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So when I when I don't have my bottles of water, I don't drink water. Really? At, all. At, all? at all? Yeah, at all. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. 
yeah, actually, I know I have to, to work on that. And I'm trying, but baby steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I might, in my case, ooh, I need to be drinking water all day long uh, while I'm at the gym and when I'm teaching a class. Yeah, I mean, all the time. Yeah. And I don't like small measures. Yeah. Okay. When, whenever I say I drink water, I mean like, a, sometimes it's like, a, what, a half a liter. <gasps> My God. Yeah, because actually, to be honest with you, the very first thing I do in the morning, I don't take nothing here at home. I mean, I just get dressed, ready, and leave. As soon as I arrive to my job, I drink half a liter of water every single day. That's very, very, very nice. Actually, I and, read. And the same before going to sleep. Oh, that's nice. I read something about it that uh, before you drink any kind of, 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 of drink, of bevia. Yeah, beverage. Mm -hmm. Beverage. Uh, First of all, needs to be watered. And you start the day and it's like the, the water starts your, like your function. Yeah. And so uh, specialists, specialists and some doctors recommend that. Drink water, wake up and drink water. Yeah, it's good. After know. that, you can drink coffee, orange juice, or whatever you want. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I enjoy drinking. Actually, I, I love, and I love cold water. Mm, it's better that way. Yeah, I love cold water. For me, that's like, oh, so good. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Sometimes uh, that's the, the only time that I have the problem is if I go, whenever I go downtown San Salvador, that's when I have the problem that I don't drink enough water. And why? Because the quantities of water I take, you need, uh, you need to be looking for a restroom. <laughs> and that's the thing, I mean, uh, it's so uncomfortable. Yeah. Particularly with traffic nowadays, man. Yeah, you're right. That's crazy. You're right. Hey, Liana. Always nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Heidi, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm ready. That's cool. That's cool. You know, I always like it. Uh, like, it's so good that, well, that you guys open your, your camera because uh, uh, in your case and, uh, and Eliana's, you are always the very first when I get in the class, almost always, uh, you're always with a smile and that's good, you know, cheers me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe me, <laughs> I have had classes when the very first person is always like kind of angry and I'm like, oops. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, attitude is it's a big influence. Sure. So tell me, what's your name? Very interesting. Uh, I got a uh, branch manager's committee today and we had a um, uh, speech of, of our CEO about the first, the first, how uh, do say, trimestre. Oh, I know that word, I know that word. Quarter. The first quarter results mm -hmm. for the bank and results are great. So excellent, excellent. Man, you have had good news this week. Yeah, I know. That's I know. great. Mm -hmm. How about you, teacher? How was your day? Um, today for me was a kind of slow day. Until I got to the, well, yeah, that was a slow day. I mean, went to work and I was teaching in the morning. The, 
actually uh, we have to administrate some tests we are in test right now and it cheered me up uh, don't ask me why but whenever it's testing time i get like happy really oh yeah why is it i don't know it's it's good i mean the thing is this, to be honest with you, it's kind of a contradictory because I mean, I arrive and I'm happy, it's testing time, but when kids, they don't do good, they don't do well on the exams or teenagers or even adults, sometimes it's, uh, it's stress me out a little bit because you gotta think first, uh, if it's just, I mean, 20% of the class, the ones who did that, you say like, oh, that's okay. I mean, it's because they didn't study, but if the average of the students who got bad grades are big, then you gotta start thinking about uh, what did you do bad? Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's what do your... you need to improve in the in the, the explanation, the approach you do to the, so, to the topics? That's your parameter, 20%. Yeah. 20%. You know, the situation is this. According to the, according to the theory, uh, according to the theory, the exam, the test you prepare for the students, uh, for you as a teacher, it should take you 15 minutes. I mean, if you take you like if you measure like this, if it takes you 15 minutes to solve it, to the students must be three times the amount of time. So for them, gotta be 45 minutes. minutes. Yes. So if the exam, uh, I mean, I have to, pre I prepare my exam, I time it, I solve it on my own, and then I check it out if I need to add to, uh, or to take something off it. Then when I administrate it to the students and then I start checking and to be honest with you is according to the theory is not there's not a specific average. I mean, you, you don't say like like 20, like 50, like uh, some of my co-workers, they say like, no, 50, it's okay. But in my case, I feel that testing shouldn't be, I mean, how can I explain this? It's just that sometimes the exam, the test, the only the test doesn't really tell me if the students has has uh, acquired the knowledge given in the class. And just one type of testing for me is not enough. It's not a enough tool in order to, to yeah in order to get that the, those those parameters. So uh, the good thing is that in my area. When I'm teaching my 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 subject, it's easy because I make a moral test, a written test, so it helps me. But as I tell you, if I feel that I don't take it like twenty percent of them pass the exam, I make it more complex for me. I look at the topics. If twenty percent uh, of them didn't would do bad in one specific topic. That's okay. I mean, it's something that perhaps I can give them give them just a different type of exercise, and they will make it up. But uh, if there's one topic that I'm testing in the exam, and fifty percent of them didn't solve it uh, well, then I I have a problem because the techniques I I use or the methodology I was applying with that specific topic for those specific students is giving me a problem. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I don't know if I explain myself. I... Sure, get it. So the idea in my case, in my personal case, is that uh, as I work with uh, teenagers, and my goal is right now that we are back at the schools. My goal is that the ones that I'm getting like in seventh grade right now, 
uh, in the public school, I want them for ninth grade to be speaking in English. That's my personal goal. So I am, I am making it a little bit complex for me. But as I tell you, it's, it's good. I'm happy when I'm testing because it lets me know if, uh, if I'm doing good. So testing for me is not just testing them, it's testing myself. And it's, never it's my own thought diagnosis. about it that way. That it is interesting that you think that way. Exams are not for testing kids, but testing you is very interesting. Yeah, because I mean... A real teacher, a real one. Yeah, because the thing is this, I mean, uh, you know, today I have fun with my students. We were solving one of the exams and I was like, we were like, uh, remembering, they remember when I explained this topic and they were like, oh yeah, sure, I remember we went out. And I mean, they were asking me like, hey teacher, what's this question? I don't understand it. And I told them, do you remember that we did this game? And they were like, oh sure, they started answering. I mean, that's uh, gratifying. Hmm. That's gratifying. So as I told you, that's why when it's tasting time, I get like, it cheers me up. I get it. It's, it's like, for example, uh, I, I, I think that I'm successful when I promote, prom, promote someone. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, I will promote that three means that this, this next month. I will promote great. Three. That means that you, you have held them, give, give, you have held them give their best. Exactly, that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Develop. I run. Yeah, yeah, that's great, you know. It's funny, I remember that uh, there was one company, uh, there was one university where I was working and I had a student uh, right at the very beginning. First I had him in, in English three courses. Then I had him in the career. And I was like, yeah, you can make it. You know, uh, I left that university like 10 years later, I passed by greeting some friends. I needed to do some things there. I had a meeting and I, I found out that he's got tenure at that university now. Really. I mean, that's something that really makes you happy. Mm -hmm, exactly. When you when you get to find those people like in a better position uh, that they are doing good, okay, that's that's great. It's as I told you, it's gratifying. And yeah, testing. So I told you, I mean, it's been a slow day because I mean, I'm not, I have not been like teaching a lot. I've been mm -hmm. just administrating tests, and and that's like uh, slow work for me because just checking out, helping with the things. But it's been good. So I'm in a good mood today. Okay, I mean, oh I'm too, also because no mask, no mask anymore. They're taking okay. away the, the use of masks. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know. It's just stressful. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get the attendance, uh, and if something happens with electricity, I let you know because. Uh, uh, a fuse just went out a couple of blocks. I just saw it on this, on the on the sky. Mm, let me get the attendance. Thank you very much. And just give me a second, please. Okay, guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Man, this is complex. Let me get the attendance before anything else happens. Let's see. 
Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good morning. Thank you, Ada. Ann Barelli Alparo Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Yeah. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Ada. Okay, guys, let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Tell me. <laughs> um, I feel fine. Uh, in this moment, I think that all is okay. And I didn't do a lot of because I don't have a plan for today, but... Oh, yeah, I... today was your day off, right? <laughs> yes, today is my day off, but I start with a move, my mother in the morning, and very early, and for the new house or like this, uh, huh? Uh -huh. my yeah. mother first, and then my sister and me, and then see uh, my father because I had to move very early and then I had to take a very fast. And then I uh, went to the multiplaza because I uh, be, uh, got to, went to the Tigo for the move the service of the internet and only that uh, and oh, yeah, yeah. don't 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 you ever go to claro okay <laughs> i don't try i don't have experience with the claro only how ah, the oh, sorry, with sorry. the deal <laughs> but i think that it's good that the reason when i stay in the tigo is that the the contract or the contract? Uh, yeah. And uh, the contract uh, don't have a a month or a required month. For example, is oh, okay, uh, yeah. open. Uh huh. And it's good because if you know don't necessarily move, you don't move 
Ah, ya no necesito más. Sería. I, I don't need more. I don't need more the service. I don't need. I don't need. Yeah, I don't need more the service. Uh -huh, I don't need I the don't. service anymore. Uh -huh, I don't need the service anymore. Only to cancel and don't have a problem. For example, if you don't uh -huh, um, try a uh, pay for more time or like this, and it's it's good. And in the afternoon, I took a nap. <laughs> Okay. It's rare because uh, all the Tuesday I don't have a lot of time to to do this, but uh, all the week I have a migraine and I have a different crease, uh, a crisis, uh, of crisis. The different crisis of the different days. And I took or drink a lot of feels and I feel me like cabezón. <laughs> um, I don't have a pain but I feel me I feel rare I I don't como que me duele pero no tan fuerte no sé cómo decir okay I don't feel the pain that strong uh, I don't feel the pain that strong and, and I think that my body pain because in the morning it helped to my mother to uh, translate different things. But it's okay. I think that I prepare to start all the week to move a different things. <laughs> but uh, the plan is at the next week move in uh i don't know is uh maybe monday or thursday and uh-huh and it is good i miss my pet and my mother uh, having the, the other house and when they stay together i stay with me and it's good because i don't move a lot of in uh in the week okay well that's nice Mm -hmm. I'm with that teacher. I don't do a lot of things or errands for today. <laughs> well, at least you could rest because I mean, having that headache all day long, it's uh, horrible, right? Yes, it's very horrible. And uh, one day in the week, maybe I a uh, Thursday. I born making me uh, with oh, eye. We, we got born with what? A yellow. With eyes. Uh -huh, with eyes because I have a lot of pain or the migraine is very several or oh, severe. Uh -huh, and I maybe think that they lost my sensitive and I have a a lot of time <laughs> eyes in my face and the next or the, uh, the next day I stay uh, red all the uh, the face. <laughs> really? Yes, but <laughs> my mother say me <laughs> that me. what happened. I told me what happened. Oh, ask me. Face. In that case, ask me. Uh -huh. Ask me what happened in my face because I have a different uh, apartment. Uh -huh. Oh, spots. Spots. Uh -huh. it's spots in the face. <laughs> oh, my but, gosh. Uh -huh. You gotta be careful. Yes, and I try to take a uh, pill. Um, I and I think that my problem is I'm wearing that the 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 headache el, el less or uh -huh, decrease decrease uh -huh, decrease but uh, maybe in different uh, situation is not the correct way. <laughs> 
I understand you, Charlie. Huh? Uh -huh. The good thing is that you're here. Relax, okay? Okay. We're gonna have fun tonight. Thank you very much <laughs> for being in class. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Ambar, hello Ambar, how are you? Hello teacher, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, what about you? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, how was your day? We were missing you yesterday. Oh, sorry, but uh, yesterday I couldn't be being in the class because I have a, another thing to do in the night, at night, sorry. But my day, was good because I have a lot of work in, in the afternoon and well, I, I, I could complete a police. Oh, really? Yes. That's good. Yes, but uh, how do you say me falta una para llegar I am missing one to reach the goal. Okay, I am missing one to reach the goal. Yeah, let me text it for this. Okay. It goes like this. I am missing one to reach the goal. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, actually, right? Yes, but I try to complete my goal tomorrow. Yeah, I, you still have a few days to spare, right? Sorry? You still have some days to spare. Yes, the next week. <laughs> yeah, so you can even make extra. Exactly. Good. That's excellent and good. And okay. Well, Amber, nice having you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hmm. Who else is around? Hey, Ana Claudia, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm doing very well. I was fighting with my computer and all this craziness with the Windows update. Oh, I hate them, believe me. <laughs> yeah, well, you were dealing, you were not fighting. Okay, dealing, yes, computer fighting because, it with yeah, you were. Person. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, I was dealing with all these updates. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, I it hate that. Yesterday. I hate when that happens. Yeah, me too. And I hate them because I know they are they are developed in order to uh, oh, help, make you to improve. No, it's the opposite. It's because remember, I've been in the computers environment selling and oh. we had uh -huh, so every time oh, so you got Windows about, 10. Yeah, you got exactly. Windows 10. Every, now it's Windows 11. You need now. you need Windows 11. No, because you when you it. update your computer, the drivers in the computer, they don't work with the new operating system. That's the same whole story with Windows. When oh, I start working with that means, when the that means you need another computer. No, 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 come on. If this is brand new for me. It was purchased last year. I'm and, kidding. Oh, and I hate that because of that reason, because when we were working with Microsoft closer, very closer with Microsoft, we knew they created the virus in order to sell more antivirus. Oh, that is a, it's a, how do you call that? Um, mm, monopoly? Monopoly? Monopoly. Yeah. Exactly. And Microsoft make do, does, they do the same. So whenever they are about to launch or they launch on a beta, the operating system, they um, make your computer it seem like a, it's not 
working. It's a trash. I know it's not working. For that reason, I, I turn off all the updates, but they said, you know, before pandemic, there was a date, it was a schedule well, when all the Windows 7 computers will be shooting down around the world, not connecting with the internet. It was so crazy, but because of the pandemic, they stopped it. So, and they made it like uh, step by step, gradualmente, como puedo decir? Yeah, step by step. step right, by step. Probably. Exactly. And that is like a, a, those, uh, when you know all about that, makes me, uh, I como se dice enojar, makes me. Gets me angry. Make, makes me get angry. That's right. It's because I know what, what is on the background of all of this, and I hate it. <laughs> Because they make your computer, it's the same with the cell phones. They make you to purchase another new hardware just when this has one year and a half or two years. And they are working fine. What happened is that the software is not working. It was developed in order to uh, ruin, <laughs> ruin your, your hardware. And I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, updates actually, updates crashed down one of my computers last mm -hmm. year. And, and I mean like crashed down, it was so terrible. I mean, I could never get it back like working as it mm -hmm. should have. Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't that bad a computer. Actually, you know, the worst thing is that it was the one that I was using for teaching. Mm, I just can imagine all the information the back in the background. Yeah, and I mean I, I have I have oh, a lot of stuff there. And I mean I always get backups of some information, but mm -hmm. still I lost the uh, extra material like PPTs mm -hmm. that I have. Uh, that I, have uh, I learned and stuff. all of these situations I learned to save my things on my email. Because whenever you are, you can open your emails like drafts, see if you are about to send something and just save them. Uh, they will be there uh, as draft. And I learned that whenever I need and I cannot find something because the computer crashed or whatever, I don't have access, I just go to my email. I know I have a copy right there. Somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. When I can connect whenever, whatever, in whatever computer I want, but it's always on my, it's on the cloud. I know <laughs> there will be always a risk, but at least I can recover. Uh, when emergency happens, I can recover the information from there. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's an advantage. Oh, I Claudia, always so nice to talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Listen to you. Thank you. Let's see. Um, hey, Francisco, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Uh, a little bit tired, but I'm well. <laughs> and tell me, Francisco. Okay, tell me, what about today? You want to work today? No, today is your day off, isn't it? Alone and in work, in my work. You are at work right now. Tomorrow, tomorrow is my is my day off. Okay, that means that tomorrow. At what time do you want me to start texting you? You know what you got with me. No teacher. What time are you going to be available tomorrow? Yes, because. Sir. Uh, could you repeat that, please? At what time are you going to be available tomorrow? Because we got something like there that we need to work on. I'm going to be pushing you tomorrow. <laughs> right, teacher. Uh, uh, I hope uh, uh, I have a time tomorrow for uh, working in the in the platform because uh, uh, 
uh, this uh, last week uh, in my house, in my work. Uh, I am a very was a uh, busy teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand. Sometimes it, it's like that. I mean, some days are easy, some days are pretty hard. I understand. No, but uh, don't worry. And you know, if you need any help, let me know. Teacher, uh, I, yeah. I see a, a one message in the WhatsApp group that the platform. Uh, it was down for a little while, but yeah, but right now it's okay. But in this moment, uh, it's uh, all okay, teacher. Yeah, it is okay, don't worry. Okay, teacher, okay. I, I tried. Uh, yeah, we will see, work. we will see. So, what time do you finish working tonight? 10? 10, teacher, 10. Oh. Um, but, uh, uh those days for the in this week uh, the chief uh, is uh, it was since I, uh, I started is it's been teacher it's right? been it's been teacher it's been very very boost uh, I think is uh, because uh, in the vacation, uh, many companies, uh, it was closed. But in this, in this moment, uh, uh, all uh, merchandise uh, uh, is, is probably that, uh, uh, do you say, uh, estado como, Retrasada, overdue, right, teacher? Overdue, yeah. In this case, in this case, in this specific case, yes, it's overdue. Overdue. Because, yeah, you can also, you have the, another expression that is delay. Delay. But I, in your specific area, it's overdue. Overdue, okay. Yeah. I think it's, it's the reason uh, that in, in this week the the working is increased has increased has has increased yeah most probably most probably well but you know the jobs are like that sometimes you got easy weeks easy days some days are like terrible is that right <laughs> because yeah. the yeah. The last week uh, to the vacation, uh, the working, it was very, very slow. <laughs> yeah. But, no, but now. But now it's heavy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. I mean, and in your area, you have that problem that everybody wants to like pass. And, uh, it's not that easy for you to deal with all of them, right? Right, teacher. Because it not it actually doesn't depend on you. I mean, it depends on the machine. Right, right. Um, but the the is in the 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 question is uh, is the among uh, among we see in in the in the in the ship sorry and how many vehicles can you can you check on your on a regular ship um, okay. usually um, 20 20 oh. <laughs> no problem, no problem. And that stops. It's a monitor. Uh, in the regular day, it is the amount per, 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 uh, per ship. But, uh, on, for example, uh, only the last uh, ship. Uh, 
they they seem twenty five. Mm. That's a lot. In moment, uh, I think uh, is probably that we we see uh, approximately um, very very vehicle. Many. Many. Okay, well, interesting. Thank you very much and welcome. It is sure. Okay. Now, guys, well, welcome all of you, but right now we need to go work on the groups. It's so nice to see almost everybody here tonight. That's great. Let's start having little conversations, okay? Now we're going to talk about Friends, simple questions, okay? We're gonna start slow and then we're going to be like increasing the level of difficulty. Now, can you describe one of your closest friends? Do you have any childhood friendships that are still strong today? Tell us about them. Like, I mean, there's some people, some of us uh, keep uh, friendships for a long while, but there's some others that, I mean, uh, with the pass of time, you get like uh, those close friends, perhaps you you don't get in touch no more. That happens, right? So what about you guys? Tell me about it. Well, tell your classmates about it. You're gonna be working in groups. This is very easy, GC, so you're going to be working in small groups. You're going to have just four minutes for the activity. Then we come back and we are going to share a little bit. So please jump in. Hello guys, Henry. Good evening. Henry, hello. Hello. how are you? Look, Henry, I need, I need you to work in the platform. Henry, can you hear me? Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you. It was because you know according to my to my registry we still have some some exercise pending why don't you stay at the end of the class and we check it out okay i'm gonna do it in the end okay. of class yeah perfect just stay connected thank you. and thank i'm going you. to help you there okay thank fine, you fine no? a pleasure that's what i'm teacher I, I, i'm yeah. sorry I, i'm having uh, several problems with my connection internet that happens, that happens. I understand you totally. But we will see how we can help you, okay? So you can finish because the deadline is tomorrow mm -hmm. midnight. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. Tomorrow will be the limit. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I think you're right. Okay. Mm, can you describe one of your closest friends? Uh, sure. Let's see, let me start. Teacher, I stay alone. Yeah, but you know, I told Nicolas and he told me, no, I better not work. We're working with her. <laughs> I, then I asked Fernando, 
No, no, no. I guess they are having problems connecting because, you know, it's raining in some areas and that could be a problem right now. Really? But, yeah, like where I live, where I live right now, it's raining strong. Uh, so I'm going to send you to another group so you can share with your classmates. Is that okay? Okay, yes. No, actually, it was Nicolás and Jose Wilfredo. They were your classmates. Okay, I sent you to another group. texting me or um, tell me if I want to visit some places and we have funny, funny relationship. And oh. I have another friend that he was my uh, co- Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You ready for working with uh, the groups? Uh, no, teacher. For the moment, I need 20, 20 minutes. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? No problem. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Just my closest friends. In my case, my my close friends uh, they live near to me. Uh, oh, okay. Some of you, uh, uh, they live in how do you say neighbor neighborhood neighborhood. I'm the same neighborhood. No, in the near neighborhood. Oh, okay, in a close one. Yeah. Yes. That's good. And what about you, Wilma? Hi. Um, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frank. You know, Roxana, he likes to be called Frank. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, Frank. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Frank I didn't know. Yeah, man, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't worry, don't worry. Well, uh, I'm, I don't have too many friends, actually, but one of my best friend and my closest friend also is my cousin. Uh, we have the same age, and we, we have been growing. Okay, I'm sorry to, 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 to interrupt I got a phrase for you, Frank. Yes. This expression. We are of an age. We are of an age, okay. That means that you got the same age, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. Well, so we are of an age and we have, we had been growing together uh, all time we had lived in so many things together so many experience also we for for some time we studied together too in the same school and then in the same high school we just separate uh, at the university <laughs> so uh, now he lives in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador too, but he is married now. I'm almost married, but not not yet. <laughs> not mm -hmm. yet. And Roxana and is like, don't do it, don't we... do it. No, don't do it. It's the worst <laughs> decision. Believe me. I don't. Yeah, it's the worst. I'm, no, do it, I'm not thinking do it. of that. No, esas cosas son del diablo, Frank. 
I'm not thinking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, and Amber is also single, yeah. right? The, the teacher is a um, discípulo. ¿Cómo sería discípulo? Discípulo. Discípulo of the... Discipulo. ¿Qué? Discípulo del diablo. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you are telling that they, that she have to do it. And, yeah, you, you know. know. Listen up. You didn't, you never let me finish, okay? Do it, <laughs> okay. Frank. Do it. I'm not the only one who needs to be carrying this burden. <laughs> who wants to, who wants okay. to suffer? <laughs> okay, no. Is, there's an expression in English, actually, to, to, to explain what I just said. Mm -hmm. And it's like this. Misery loves company, you know? Misery loves company. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good phrase. <laughs> Yeah. In English, we say it like that. You know, do it, man. Misery loves company. I don't want to be alone. Mm. Yeah, okay. I like that. <laughs> so, you get the idea, well, Roxana, of, the, of that phrase? Yeah, I translate the phrase because I, don't, I didn't understand. La miseria ama la compañía. Yeah, we use, I mean, yeah, the problem is this, that you went to the, to the traducción. If mm -hmm. you want to really look for it, do something. Uh, look for meaning. Meaning. Instead of looking in in your in your uh, in your uh, search engine types, misery loves company meaning, and you will okay. get the definition of the phrase. Ah, okay. I will try now. Got it? Many. No, many. No me lo tradujo bien. Dice, la miseria ama el significado de la compañía. No, hold on. Erase the word traducción. No use la palabra traducción. Ok. It's my best friend, Peter. <laughs> yeah, but you will get the meaning in English. And the meaning says, you will get the definition. The phrase misery loves company means that if someone is miserable, they like others to be miserable too. Okay. So that they can feel better about themselves. It's hard. Se escucha más pesado. So you one. see, you see, that's why I told Frank, do it, man, misery, misery loves company. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> hey, guys, Good it's one, time man. to go back. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. I got a phrase for you, don't ask me why, but with a group who were discussing this phrase, this phrase and uh, it's good you have it, okay? The expression in English is misery loves company. If someone is miserable, they like others to be miserable too, so that they can feel better about themselves. So in some situations, like uh, like if somebody is pushing the other one to do something that is going to be bad for himself or herself in the end, you can tell that person, hey, be careful, misery loves company. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Who's gonna tell me about his or his, her best friend? Stephanie, what about you? Hello, Stephanie, how are you? Hello. Hello. Sorry, I can uh, okay, 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 I can hear you right now. <laughs> Sorry, I, it was like kind of in kind of um, cutting up the my 
have been using my connection because my sister is using the internet for stream. <laughs> Okay. Now, okay. tell me, can you describe one of your closest friends? Yeah, um, I would choose a friend that I met in the university. Her name is Juanita, and I love her so much because um, since I met her, she always stayed with me, and she and she is very patient she she understand me a lot and she usually stay when i meet her and my mom knows her and she she always give give us some avocados <laughs> because she have a, a tree for avocados and she's so funny she likes to dance and she's close to me since i have a memory and also she wait for me when we when we end the work when if she have to wait 30 minutes she waits for me and i don't know i there is a lot of things but i think that she is a very good friend and i have confidence in her and and different stuff of things, you know, like a friend that I know that I can count with her. Okay, I have confidence in her. It's better if you say, I trust her. Ah, I trust her. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Very nice. Let's see. Hmm. Jacqueline, what about you? Can you describe uh, one of your closest friends? Okay, yes, teacher. I have a closest friend that, um, well, we have a friendship since we were at the elementary school a lot of years ago. <laughs> and it is, he's a, a good person. Um, we build a, a good friendship. We are confident to each other. We trust um, each other. Um, where we have um, a group, a small group of close friends. And when we had a, a time to share something, celebrate a birthday or just to, to 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 do a meeting and we have some excuses to to celebrate something mm, for example today i was telling to in the in the group in the breakout room that today we have to a meeting but it was a little different we lost a closest friend of our group she, uh, she passed away oh so sorry to hear that i did the stand on yes because we usually celebrate something we were happy but today was very very difficult but we celebrate that the moments that we shared with her and that's it. Only that's okay. it. Thank you. Perfect. No, see you. Okay, guys, let me get the second attendance. Let's see. Let's make this thing fast and as painless as possible. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ambarelli Alvaro. Alfaro Gomez, sorry. Parece. <laughs> man, I changed your last name, man. Sorry. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Uh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Thank you, Francisco. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. 
José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Thank you, Ada. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Ok. Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, guys. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Eliana, tell me, describe to me one of your closest friends, please. Yeah. Well, I was talking with Jose Smith and I was describing my best friend. And well, her name is Gabi, Gabriela. I told, uh, I told her Gabi. And well, she is a very loyal person in my case i i think that that that's why i think that she's my very best friend and i was uh, sharing with jose that actually she gave the recommendation uh, at where i actually work so that recommendation changed my life really changed my life and I have like 10 years knowing her and to knowing her. Oh. No, I have known her I have for known 10 years. For 10 years, okay. I have known her for 10 years and basically I feel very blessed to have her friendship. So she's a very, she is a very, she's very fun. And I really okay. she's, she's a lot funny. of fun. She's a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun. Okay, thank you. And when we talk, is I don't know, is it's very, very, very nice. And you know, I think that this kind of friendship is one in a million. I I really feel that way about her. So Excellent. she's my very best friend, and my I think one of my closest friends in my life. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you very much, Eliana. Welcome. Okay, guys, next two questions. Uh, there is a proverb that says, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Do you agree? Do you believe that there is an end to any true friendship? Okay, those two questions you're going to discuss. Now, the first one, there is a proverb that says, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Do you understand that expression? When we say that a friend in need is a, fr is a friend, indeed is that uh, when you have a big problem, a difficult situation, and there's always some people that they look like it. They are our friends, but when we, we are in bad times, I mean, you don't see them no more. But there are some that they stay there with you all the time, no matter what. In those situations, those are the, the friends in need, okay? Now, uh, I will recreate the groups. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
Jacqueline. Hello. Hello, teacher. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. We got problems with the platform. You're still I'm, missing some I'm little I'm working, part. teacher. I'm working on that. And let me see. Let me check it out. I, I'm working on that, really. But I fighting with this one. Oh, no. You yeah. already... You already got, let's see, Jacqueline Sonata. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now you have approved the course with the with what you but got. I, but I I would like to get to get a better grade, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you got any trouble, let me know. But right now I'm gonna send you to another group, okay? Okay, thank you. So you can do the exercise. Thank you, teacher. I really appreciate. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. That's what I'm here for. That's Thank the idea you. to help you out. Yeah, you know, I was asking people around who wants to work with Ana Claudia, and Jacqueline says, ah, anyway, I'll do it. <laughs> no. Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia. <laughs> No. no, don't worry, don't worry, uh, Jacqueline. I believe you, not the teacher. <laughs> no, you know, I guess, I guess the, the the little storm is giving problems to a lot of you guys because I have a lot of people that is having problems with the connection. Exactly. Is it rainy right now in San Salvador? Yep, it is. Oh no, I live in Mexicanos and it's it's in rainy. Oh, in my area, it was short but strong, and mm -hmm. and I'm lucky because the 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 electricity service for my neighborhood is the only one that is separated from the rest of neighborhoods. Right now, they got a blackout. Wow! Something similar happened to us last week on Tuesday. Uh, my God, I had like long time not hearing um uh, thunder. a thunder a thunder they were two at the same time bon, bon. <gasps> they were in front of my house Mo most of my neighbors they went out with the internet service in our case the Cape, the, the, the service was burned, the one for the telephone line, and the, mm -hmm. the, the, the equipment, the telephone itself, it was burned. Yeah, the same happened to me. The, well, actually, you know, last year, yeah, it was last year, I had to change uh, the telephone twice. Wow. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was like, oh, pissed off. No, but but you know, sometimes what I didn't know is when uh, a, a thunder it, it is happens. It, the, the no, thunder. but what you're talking about is not a thunder. Thunder is the sound, lightning. Lightning. Bueno, fueron dos rayos. ¿Cómo le puedo decir? Yeah, lightning, lightning. Mm -hmm. O sea, cayeron en el pavimento, pues, los dos rayos. Yeah, but lightning. Rayos es lightning. lightning. Ah, okay. The thunder is just the sound. Es que fue fuerte. Ah, la yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but what affected you was not the sound. What affected you was the lightning. Both. <laughs> <laughs> because my ears were... <laughs> oh, no. At, at the end, I was uh, lucky because my internet connection didn't went out. Uh, you know, the companies, they take like around one week to... Tim. So the question is, so there is a proverb that says, a friend in need is a friend in the... <laughs> indeed. Do you agree? Indeed. You, indeed. 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 Do you agree? Do you believe that there is an uh, do you believe that there is an end to any true friendships? Yes, because my friends how do you say me han demostrado? How shown me? Because my close friends 
was show me. Have, have shown me. Ah, sorry. Have show me a loyalty and they gave me support being when. Oh. Share is here. Hello, guys. Finish. Hello. Yes. My gosh, you are fast. So, Heidi, tell me. Well, Heidi, you never told me about the, 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 your best friend. My best friend is my cousin, Roxanita. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You got along pretty well? Yeah, since we were little kids. Oh, my Maybe gosh. Maybe because of good. the ages, uh, because I'm only one year older than her. Maybe. That's good. That's good. So you get together regularly or something like that? Sure. She was here last weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. We really That's get nice. along. We enjoy going out or and she's always for me and I'm always for her. That's cool. So that means that uh, oh so she's a friend in me. She's a friend. In me. That's cool. A friend in need is a friend indeed. A friend indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. What about you, Jose Wilfredo? Perhaps not available. And Jose Osmin, what about you? Uh, yes, I have a like a, a friend in deep. So a very close friend. Who's that? Yeah. Tell me. Could you describe him or her? Uh, sure. So he's a boy. So okay. I think that he's living in the same neighborhood. So also he's older older than me. Oh, nice. For around four years, I think. For almost yeah, ten, four years, and I think that that I was uh, basically talking with the, the previous uh, person and I say her so that basically he was uh, with me when I really needed. So and also I'm, when he needed my help. So I was telling, I was telling her so that he helped me so to improve uh, my English. So because he is like a teacher now so and he helped me a lot and also he provided me good advices so with the way his experience and i think that with those uh, advices that he told me so it's like a, i'm getting the reality right because sometimes so when we don't see the the good reality for some advices so we don't realize so oh, actually the age so it's making uh, like thinking mature, I think. So that's why, so with those advices, I think that I, I take advantage because uh, he had the opportunity to, to take, to, no, to take uh, those uh, situation by situation. And then, so once he provided me those, so in those situation coming for me, so I, I like I have the, the options to move or stop over there so in order to overcome right but i can i can say that those advice helped me a lot okay guys thank you very much uh, it's time let's go back We're just going to wait for everybody to be back.
And there's everybody. Okie dokie. Let's see, everybody's here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, uh, nice activity, but we need to jump to the next one and we're going to work with the manual. We got uh, less conversation from the manual and it's pretty nice. We got new vocabulary. So let's take advantage of that resource. And let's see. Just let me get everything ready for you. Let's see. Sure. Sorry, guys, but internet is not that good right now. Here we go. Okay, well, we got us a conversation here. In the conversation, it's about Jose and Tito are talking about their customer experience in a new store. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. Okay, let me. Let me get it for you guys. And the conversation goes like this. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tour the staff prepare was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician pictures and a streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. I repeat. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The Almanel Reality Tour, the staff preparer was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician pictures and a streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Okay. In this case, just a little thing. Here must be reality. I'm sorry. I didn't let you know before. In here it's reality, okay? Reality tour. Now, uh, let me get the screenshot so I can share it with you. And I'm gonna send you right now to work in groups, okay? But now the practice is going to be with the same people you were working right now. So groups are open, please jump in. And I'll be sending you the, the image in a second. Just a second, guys.
Hey, I got a couple of you who's and got no group. Let's see. Oh, Maria Alejandra. I think it's a bad shame that um, my cell phone from my computer. <laughs> I just sent you to one group, okay? <laughs> and Henry, let's see, I'll send you to this other group. La encuesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Sorby, Roxana. Sorby. Sorby. The survey. I think that today we are working in the survey, but now. No, Roxana, tomorrow is the last day of class. Okay. Está bien, pues. And you're so yeah. happy you are like, yeah, yes, tomorrow. always, always, as usual. Shame on you. <laughs> no, that's yeah. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> and when I start the, uh, the, next, the next course? I don't know. To be honest with you, they let you know first than me. So, para ser honesto, les avisan antes a ustedes que a mí. Ah. En Europe, they, they uh, send the, the information. Mm, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, the human resources work on that. So I imagine that they work in as usual. You should so find no out because not. paperwork was sent like two weeks ago, I guess. What about you, Francisco? Uh, for me, I don't receive the information to the next the next course. And the problem is the uh, human resource uh, uh, is not uh, not uh, send the information in the in the date, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know the is the, the next uh, course. Uh, yeah, but you should have told me before. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what can we do. <laughs> and the human uh, resource is saying uh, email. Uh, Explain the, the situation, but to the up to date, uh, I don't information for for that. Okay, uh, okay. in the WhatsApp group, look for Luis Bonilla. Sorry, okay. teacher. In the WhatsApp Sorry, group, teacher. we got in the WhatsApp group. Right. Look for you need to talk to. Luis Bonilla. Or Flor Sanchez. Flor Sanchez. Flor Sanchez. Uh, okay, Flor Sanchez. Text them. Text them. Let them know your situation. Yep. Okay, teacher. I answer uh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Cause oh, and do it early in the morning. They get in around eight. They have a meeting always from eight to eight thirty, I guess, around nine a.m. You can text them. So they. They always get into the office at eight, but they always have a meeting early, early, early in the morning. So you can text them around nine, nine a.m. Nine a.m. Okay, teacher. Okay. 
perhaps they can do something. Right, teacher. Okay, let's see. Jacqueline and Nicholas, you ready? Okay, Jacqueline yes, and Nicholas. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Jacqueline, you start. Okay, teacher. Hey, Nicholas, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The almond really tour the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and a streaming for their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free album downloads. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Ileana and Ada. Ileana, you'll start. Okay. Mm, okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The Aumentero really to start preparing was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and a streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional call for the free album downloads. Okay, great. Just add that you introduce a new part. You said for the free album now downloads. For free album downloads, okay? Remember, the article in this case is not used because we don't know which album. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Rebecca, you ready? She was having problems with the connection. Fernando? No. Jose Wilfredo. I can uh, let me with uh, Henry. Henry and Anna Claudia. Henry, you ready? E yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, Henry, you will start. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The Owl Mountain really tour the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes in the city to get the information of the musicians, pictures, and streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free album download. Okay. Latest, Henry. Latest. Latest. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Heidi and Ambar. Heidi, you'll start. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes. It's, it's awesome. The augmented really to the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and stream for their latest live concert. Yeah, but the the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Downloads, downloads, downloads. Okay. 
Now let's see. Roxana and Stephanie. Yes. Roxana, you start. Yes, okay. please. Hey, have you been, pardon. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes. It's awesome. The online reality tour, the staff prepare was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and the streaming for their latest sleep concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free up and down. Okay, latest live concert. Latest live concert. Yep, latest okay. live concert. Okay, let's see. Um, Josius Min and Susana. Okay, teacher. We we'll start. Sorry, what does mean? We we'll start. Okay. So the team. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in the, in town? Oh yes. Oh. At at Wimscom. Awesome. At, awesome. Our women really towards the staff uh, prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You have you just have to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician pictures and and the streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, yeah. But, but the best part were the promotion calls uh, from free album do, do, <laughs> downloads. 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 Okay, thank you. What's your mean? Scan. 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 Like that. I'm telling you because when you were saying, you say, you just have to scan. Okay. And the sound is you just have to scan. Scan, okay. Perfect, thank Thanks. you. Welcome. Frank and Ramon. Frank, you'll start. Okay. Hey, hey, have you been to the store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The argument really tour, the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the code of the CDs to get information of the musician, pictures, and streaming from from the live yeah but the best part were the promotional codes from free album downloads okay thank you both of you perfect francisco and maria alejandra francisco you'll start Oops, I guess Francisco is busy. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm, I'm here already. Sorry. Okay, let's do it. Uh, teacher, who is there? You. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes. It's awesome. The augmented reality tour the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the code on the CDs to get the information on the musician, picture, and an stream for the latest lead concert. Yeah, 
But the best part where the promotion goes for a free album download. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, latest live concert. Okay. Now, guys, let's see. Let's go back to conversations. Okay, we've been talking about friendship, and I need you to describe. Okay, but now you are not going to describe the person. You are going to describe the qualities that makes that person become your best friend. Okay. So, what qualities do you appreciate in your friends? What makes someone special or best friend? Now we're going to go back to the way we were working last time. Do you remember? Uh, you're going to be in a bigger group and there's going to be one person asking the questions to the rest of the members of the groups. So groups are created. Let's see. Let me just check on something. Just a second, just a second. I said I, I am checking out how groups are formed. Okay, now. Group number one, okay, the person who's going to be in charge is, uh, of asking the question is going to be you, Maria Alejandra. You are in charge of asking the questions in your group. In group number two, the person in charge is going to be Nicolas. Nicolas, you're going to be asking the questions, okay? Group number three is going to be, let's see, Frank. And group number two is going to be Jacqueline. Groups are created. Please jump in. Heidi, I need to get you into a group. Let's see. Thank you. Okay. I sent you to group number two. What qualities do you appreciate in your friends? Well, uh, I think that I appreciate when the people are are not gossiper, I guess that this no such mm -hmm. gotcha. uh, Oh, that's gossip. so boring. No. <laughs> no, because maybe when you are looking for a good friend, uh, you kidding. are uh, yeah, you 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 try to confident some intimate things. Sometimes, or personal uh, things. So I appreciate when the people is not gossip, gossip person. Oh, gossip is gossip or gossiper. 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 Okay, thank you. Gossiper person, and maybe that the person is when the person is calm because. Um, I, shy, shy, sería como la, 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 la correcta, shy or calm, because uh, I'm try to be shy, but when I have a lot of, um, I, I, como mucha confianza, ¿cómo se dice cuando yo tengo mucha confianza? 
When I have a lot of uh, trust. When I have a lot of trust. Well, when I have a lot of trust, uh, I talk a lot of. But in general, I prefer when the people are shy or calm. Because I dislike, I prefer not to live in a party all the time, you know. You always need a friend that he or she put your feet on the floor. Or oh, yeah. give some or give some good uh, reference about whatever you want. But if you have a crazy friend, maybe you don't have a good uh, consejo. How do you say consejo? Advice. Advice. Maybe you can get a good advice. So I prefer a call. Uh, the next. The next question is, what makes someone special or best friend? What is your opinion, number? What is the question? What makes someone a special or best friend? ¿Qué hace que alguien sea especial yeah. o mejor amigo? Yeah, exactly. What makes that someone to be that special for you, Amor? Well, is the the same answer the uh, um special uh, only that song, but it's uh, only my conf uh, I think that those kind of qualities are very important uh, for a friend. Uh, I also think that, yeah, honesty, sincerity. Uh, I like people uh, who, who are very like with a big personality, with a strong personality in some direct, I don't know if it's correct, persona directas, direct people. Straightforward. Right. Straightforward, sorry. Straightforward yes. person. Straightforward, straightforward person, yes. Uh, I think that for me, it's, it's very, I like those, those kind of people. So that could be some qualities that, that I consider. And let's see uh, what makes someone special or best friends for you, Ana Claudia. What makes someone special or best friend that they are in good and bad with me? Um, my, you know, my best friend, uh, she's my friend since we were in first grade, so long time ago. And we, uh, have been helping each others also in economical situations and it's uh, okay. uh -huh, if she she always when i uh, been supporting si ahí podemos dar support verdad teacher yeah support me whenever i need it and i always support her too mm -hmm. and and we respect each other for yeah. example when she lends money for me, she always pays. She never, I, me quedo de bien de And the same happens to me when I lend <laughs> money to her. Never, I always pay to her. And, and that's part of the respect we have uh, for each other. It's almost your sister. Yes, yes, one was my sister. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. <laughs> well, um, my, you, Indiana. In my case, what makes someone special or best friend? Well, it happens with my best friend that if something happens to me, something good or, or bad, 
eh, I don't know how to say it, teacher. Aparte de mi familia? Besides my family. Besides, besides my family. She's the first person that came to my mind. I just want to... I just want to tell her what happens, and because I I feel that uh, she most of the time she under understand me and give me uh, um, the correct advice or give me the correct words for that moment. So I think that that made her so special. I I think in her. Besides, besides my family, when, when something happens to me, good or bad. And okay. what, yeah, what about you, Frank? Yes. Well, uh, in my opinion, uh, I think that a uh, cold. Okay, guys, it's almost time. And before we move on to the attendance, let me just remind you that tomorrow is our last day of class. Uh, we are, tomorrow we are having the survey, the request of satisfaction. Remember that I'll let you know what time we're gonna do it together here in the class. Let's see, besides that, well, tomorrow we're gonna still be covering one grammar point, so be sure to connect. Uh, what else? Let me see the platform. Guys, I'm seriously worried with some of you that uh, need to finish a lot of exercises. I have texted a couple of you that you need, really need to be checking it out. The deadline is tomorrow. So I will be waiting for all of you to finish your activities. Let me know when you finish so I can update the list. And if you got any problem with any of the activities, just let me know. I'm here to help you. It doesn't matter uh, the time of the day. I mean, I can connect. It's easy for me to connect from my cell phone and check it out. So I can do it for you. Uh, let's see. Well, let's get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alparo Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Sensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. 
Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmer Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I know the effort you have done. I appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Please be on time. Tomorrow is a special class. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, good night everybody. Good night.
Well, thanks, sir. See you tomorrow.